All right, guys. So let's let's get straight into the video. I'm not gonna waste no time. Let's let's just get straight into it. So if you look at this builder, look, man. I'm 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 ready for the comments. Everybody's gonna be like, "Yo, this build is the same. This builder looks the same. It's just different colors." No. If you actually sit down and look at this builder, it is not the same. You can't even make this build on 2K24. So that alone just tells you that the builder is less strict and whether you like it or not, there's gonna be demigods all over the park. So besides the fact that this build is not, you know, I wouldn't use this build. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all would, would use this build, cause I wouldn't. I wouldn't even go 6-2. But if you look at this build, you can already see the potential that it has in terms of like the builder actually being amazing. There's like I said, there's definitely going to be demigods. So you got a 98 ball handle, right? And this build gets legend. Uh, I think that badge. Yeah, that's lightning launch. It says it right there. To my knowledge, what my opinion, what I think that is, that's obviously being able to speed boost out of a move out of a hezzy or whatever the case may be. That's what that tells me. Now, you have a 98 ball handle and a 94 speed with ball. And you know, in 2K25, if you had anything that was like that high, you're limited to other aspects of the build. So you see here, he has an 87 driving dunk and an 85 driving layup with a 72 close shot and a 34 standing dunk. I think you can do stand dunks with that. And also you get 73 perimeter defense and a 71 steal. Obviously, for those that actually watch me on Twitch, I'm live every single day on Twitch, twitch.tv slash toughnyc. If you know me or if you know anybody who plays, let's just say pro-am or anything, point guards don't use, they don't have defense. The most they'll use on their on their defensive attribute it's either block interior defense to play the back doors or some steel so like i said you have a 98 ball handle with a 94 speed with ball 87 driving dunk and a good amount of defense obviously it's not anything crazy because at the end of the day you're not a lockdown so i think that this builder is gonna be insane just by looking at this it has a lot of potential right obviously if you look at the builder you don't have any stamina Stamina will be tied to the Gatorade facility. So you will be doing Gatorade workouts to upgrade your stamina. So if you go to 2K's course I report, you will see here at attribute refresh, it says right here, stamina is now earned through Gatorade gym workouts. Each my player starts off with an 85 stamina attribute rating. Doing a workout adds two stamina attribute points, regardless of your workout result, and you can do four workouts each week. Once any of your my player reaches a 99 stamina attribute rating, it is permanent. As an added bonus for hitting the gym, if you get at least three stars on all four weekly workouts, you will receive a temporary turbo meter boost and unlock a body type for your my player. So basically that just reminds me of what they did last year. Obviously there will, you, you have stamina on, you know, in the, in the attributes, right? But when you unlock gym rat, you unlock it for all builds. You feel me? So if you was to make a new build, obviously you get that. I don't know about the body type because it says here that you also unlock a body type for your my player. So it also says once you have done all 12 unique workouts in the Gatorade gym, you will unlock Workout Warrior, which gives you 99 stamina, a permanent turbo meter boost, and all of your unlocked body types across all new existing saves. It also says here in NBA 2K24, the acceleration attribute determined your dribbling launching and off ball movement. In contrast, NBA 2K25 dribble launching is now determined solely by the speed with ball attribute while defensive lateral movement off ball launches and off ball cuts are determined by a new attribute called agility that's cool to hear i like that they're I, I mean as you guys can see they're adding a lot of different things things that we never even like asked about so this is this is good to see you know they're adding different things i think this gives us a whole new way to grind obviously i know some people are not gonna like that that you gotta go to the gym and you know because i know a lot of people complained about that but it is all good so now let's move into the tape takeover section i'm not gonna lie this looks yo this looks insane i just want y'all to know this game is going to be broken and i don't mean that in a bad way i don't mean it in a bad way a lot of people ask for arcadey gameplay don't sit here and lie i know there's a lot of different parts of the community you got the casuals you got the sim you got a whole bunch of different communities and it's and, and it's a cool thing to see you know you got a lot of debates all over twitter you got people going back and forth which is fine it's it's, it's, just, it's just hoop talk you know 2k talk you feel me but and NBA 2K25 introduces a brand new takeover system with 72 takeovers and 14 takeover abilities. 
Each takeover targets different attributes and has five levels, ranging from level one where you're just heating up to level five when you're red hot. As you excel on the court, your takeover meter fills up and gradually boosting the targeted attributes as you rise up to five levels. This happens automatically so you don't need to manually activate takeover i'm not gonna lie that's a w because i'm gonna be completely honest with you having to like press down on the button and then press whichever takeover that i want to use you know that that kind of it's not something that i wanted out of the game and i was like yo nah 2k gotta change this nah it's not something that was in the back of my mind but reading this it sounds cool you know it sounds cool it's, it sounds like it's a cool thing to have so w2k i like that i like the sound of that at level five you'll trigger a takeover ability that when used effectively can make you the most dominant player on the court for a short period of time initially you will only have access to levels one through three you will unlock level four and five each by activating its previous level in 30 different games takeover level unlocks do carry over between saves so okay that's cool then it says here each takeover has attribute requirements and you'll be able to see which takeovers you have the potential to unlock within the my player builder as well as how each one's associated boost will impact your attributes you can change your takeover at any time between games, selecting from any that you meet the attribute requirements for. Okay, that's cool. So you can't do it mid game. It has to be in between games. So here's a visual of what the takeover details look like. As you can see from, from the looks of it, this looks like a center. Cause if you see the plus three, the plus four, the plus six, it says close shot. So it said plus seven ninety nine close shot. So then that means that this dude right here has a 92 close shot. You got barbecue chicken, bucket, fundamentals, elevate, glass gunner. Glass gunner sounds crazy. I'm not going to lie. Board beast. That's self-explanatory. That's basically you just grabbing boards. That's like the defensive takeover that we have in 2K24. Eraser. Eraser. That kind of sounds like uh, maybe you blocking a shot. You moving the ball out the way. I don't know. Eraser sounds dope, though. Horse. I mean, horse and board beast kind of go hand in hand. You know, we all say horse like you horsing somebody. Like you getting a rebound over someone. Break igniter sounds like break starter. That's like that might be play badge. That might be play badge for the um for the center. Feathery touch sounds like just a regular, you know, layup at the rim or hook shot. That's what that sounds like. And lost art. I don't know. Lost art sounds fire though. Okay, now let's move on to the badges. As you can see here, it says inside scoring. We got aerial wizard float game hook specialist right hook specialist is improving a player's ability to make post hooks that's i mean obviously that's pretty self-explanatory you already know post post scores are going to be op this year like they are every year so make sure you making a center build with some defense because this is the year where it, it's going to be completely broken once again maybe even worse you got pink prodigy improves a player's ability to quickly and efficiently score while going to work in the paint. So paint prodigy and barbecue chicken go hand in hand. I'm not gonna lie, you might not even be able to stop that post score that you got and if they got paint prodigy on, on legend and barbecue chicken, bro. So RIP to your center build, I'm not gonna lie. You got physical finisher, improves a player's ability to battle through contact and convert contact layups. So this sounds like to me, every slasher in the game is gonna have this. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna imagine having that on even Hoff or even gold to be honest gold finishing badges work this year post fade phenom post powerhouse post up poet post arizer and rise up you got box out beast the rebound chaser we still got those in the game you got challenger glove high flying denier that's chase down for those that don't know immovable enforcer interceptor off ball pest you got on ball menace pink patroller pick dodger and post lockdown so those are all the defensive badges as you can see you don't have right stick ripper and you don't have clamps for those that don't know glove and on ball menace have multiple different badges from 2k24 combined in the badge itself so glove has right stick ripper you got on ball menace that's like that's clamps so for those that i know you guys are like yo but we have five shooting badges and we don't have no clamps there's no right stick ripper but everything is tied into one so don't worry about that and i like that too i'm gonna be honest you don't have to really focus on you know grinding one specific badge when you can steal the ball with glove and you can still use your right stick to rip people you know you don't have to just right stick people to upgrade right stick gripper you feel what i'm saying so i think that's a w on 2k for that i like that a lot you got outside scoring dead eye limitless range mini marksman and set shot specialists also with shifty shooter bro i'm gonna be honest with you yes we have five shooting badges 
but these badges are deadly. You got limitless range, still OP. You got dead eye, right? I know people are like, yo, where's blinders, bro? Blinders is in dead eye. Don't you guys worry. 2K gotcha. 2K got us, bro. They not gonna just take out these badges, bro. So W again. I like that they, you know, they're taking away the badges, but they're not taking away the attributes that come within those badges. They're applying it to other badges and it's all in one. Mini Marksman is gonna be broken. That's kind of like mismatch expert from 2K22, if I'm not mistaken. It says here, elevates the likelihood of making shots over taller defenders. You already know, if this build is gonna be OP and the big builds are in and they're gonna be a problem, you already know small guards, they gotta hold themselves down, bro. So it's only right that they look out for the small guards. So make sure you get many, if you're making a small guard, make sure you get many marksmen at least on gold, bro. At least, the minimum. So we got playmaker now, we got ankle assassin. That's a new one, that's a new name. Bailout, bailout set in the game. Break starter, dimer, handles for days lightning launch strong handle unpluggable and versatile visionary i'm gonna be honest i don't know what versatile visionary is but i'm gonna go ahead and read it it proves a player's ability to thread and fit tight passes including alley oops quickly and on time so what that sounds like to me is like special delivery mixed in with a little bit of needle threader that's what it sounds like to me i could be wrong because i don't see no needle threader in here so needle threader gotta be somewhere right so it, it has to be you know attached to one of these badges then you got general offense brick wall slippery off ball i'm not gonna lie slippery off ball still gonna be broken and pogo stick obviously we still got that in the game all right now this this is the most like interesting part of this year's game i'm gonna be completely honest with you this is this is so insane right here let's check this out badge perks there are three new badge perks that can modify progression of individual badges each perk has two slots available to unlock one for tier badges and another for tier two max plus one boost the badge one level above its max potential you must progress a badge to its max potential before equipping this perk these are unlocked at level 15 tier 2 badge and level 30 tier 1 badge in each season at the end of the season your badges equipped with max plus one will revert to their original level. Participation. Badges equipped with this perk will earn a flat base amount of progression each game, regardless of how many times they're activated. Synergy. This is my favorite one. Badges equipped with this perk will receive progression when your teammates earn progression using the same badge shout out to 2k for doing this now you know what this means this means that if you're a random rec player and you're not getting no touches you're not getting the ball enough you're not shooting the rock if there's another player on your team with almost the same amount of badges as you and he's going crazy you get the same amount of badge progression that he gets i'm not gonna lie this might be one of the best features that 2k added this year for 2k25 bro i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys there's no reason for for you not to like this game for the looks of it obviously we need to get our hands physically on the game we got to play and see what it's like and get a feel for it but all this stuff obviously looks good on paper i get that but this is some major news and you guys really should like pay attention and see what these guys are talking about okay now so you have performance multipliers Maximize your badges in NBA 2K25 by taking advantage of performance multipliers these in-game boosts can take your game to another level but you'll need to learn them separately via quest. There are three performance multipliers in total. Up for the challenge. Games played against self opponents boost badge progression for all badges that are used in the game. Grade A student finishing games with an A minus, A or A plus boost badge progression for all badges that are used in the game. Winner circle winning games boost badge progression for all badges that are used in the game. That's another W. And for those that don't know, they did take out badge regression if you guys didn't really catch up on that. Okay, one of the most game breaking news that we could possibly get is cap breakers, bro. Cap breakers. This game is going to be insane, man. I know I said it already, but this game is going to be insane. Last but not least, we are excited to introduce cap breakers at NBA 2K25. We saw community feedback that players wanted a way to not only increase attribute ratings above their max potential caps set at build creation, but also have those ratings contribute towards animation badge and takeover attribute requirements. That's exactly what cap breakers do. For example, let's say your ball handle attribute is maxed out at 85. You can apply two cap breakers to play with an 87 ball handle and unlock access to any animations, badges, or takeovers that require an 87 ball handle. That is insane. 
insane. There's a few restrictions to ensure a balanced gameplay experience. Each attribute can be increased a maximum of plus five above its cap. You can use a cap breaker on, on an attribute upgrade to its max potential rating allowed by your build's height, weight, and wingspan, which is shown in the My Player Builder while allocating your attribute potential. You must progress an attribute to its max potential rating before applying a cap breaker. There are a total of 15 cap breakers available to earn through rep rewards. More on rep, affiliations, and the city in a few weeks. So to go based off cap breakers, depending on whatever build you make, like it said, if you made a build and it maxes out at 85 ball handle and you add two cap breakers, you have an 87 ball handle. That is insane. And on top of that, you get the animations. In 2K24, you couldn't do that, obviously. For certain builds as well, like a 6-5 or 6-6, or six, six. let's say, you know, you couldn't get Patty Mills base because you didn't have the three because you use your attributes elsewhere, but you add some of those cap breakers into your three ball or midi that you need for that base. Just any base in particular. You will get that base because of the cap breaker. I think this is one of the most game breaking things that NBA 2K25 has added. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I love the fact that they're making this game super arcadey from what it looks like. It looks like demigod builds are going to be in the game. Obviously, there was some builds in NBA 2K24 that you was able to, you know, dunk and shoot and pass, but not every build was able to have defense, you know? And if it did have defense, it'll be low. So for the looks of it, you can make a really, really, really good build. If you don't make a good build this year, then you just need to stop playing the game. For those that didn't see on the Twitter timeline today, or if you are not in the NBA 2K Discord, Zach Timmerman did answer a question that was very interesting. The question was, are there new build archetype names in NBA 2K25? He answered, yes, there are well over a hundred new possible archetype names that can be discovered. Some of my favorite are rim attacker small ball four swiss army knife and junkyard guard i'm not gonna lie if you ask me swiss army knife sounds crazy obviously for those that do know what a swiss army knife is in basketball terms is somebody that you you know you do everything you do everything in the game whether that's real life or 2k you score you play defense you pass you, you do it all you know okay so wolf 74 he is a gameplay developer for nba 2k he tweets legend badges are powerful and will be expensive in the builder so you know what this tells me? This tells me 2K is like, all right, hold up. We're going to make this builder super lit. We're going to make it lit for you guys. We're going to give you guys everything that you want, but it's not going to be that easy. But from the looks of it, if you look at the builder again with the 6-2 PG, for the looks of it, this build has a legend handles for days he has three legend badges so i really don't think that it's probably not that expensive i mean hey look wolf has worked on the game so i don't know i'm just looking from the outside in it might be expensive it really might be so let's see how we got to get our hands on the game and see you know see where we go from there so as of right now there's way more information that's pretty much all the stuff that i thought that was really meaningful but i'll continue to make videos and whatever i see that i like that i want to speak on i'll speak on it i'll make a video about it but as of right now i feel like everything that 2k is doing i know it's cliche to say everybody said you know we say this every year they're heading in the right direction bro they really are everything looks good on paper i really need to see though what the park and rec looks like for those that do know me i'm a park player but i didn't really like the park this year man it was too much going on in the park i played rise so i was seeing the octopus leg every single day i didn't like that i love the rec i'm in the rec every single day for hours and hours so if you guys want to check me out i'm live on twitch every single day twitch.tv slash tough nyc i will be streaming every single day when 2k25 drops don't miss out i will be dropping all jump shots best jump shots best builds make sure you guys stick around Make sure to like, comment, and sub. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.